back again guys with part four I think this is now of my uh, uh, of my orcs um, so the orc war boss is done video for that's done and this is my first uh, biker mob so it's going to be a six man biker mob uh, with a knob with a power claw and uh, I've decided to really go to town on this army uh, you've seen hopefully my, my other videos you, you've, you've seen how I've want uh, how I've, I've done on the orcs so far and I've wanted to continue that keep it so they are a highlighted army my, my chaos are very much a uh, to tabletop standard I want to go for kind of at least you know uh, almost display standard with these so I've gone to much as much to town as I can really um, to build they were quite fun uh, reasonably simple the orcs themselves were a little bit of a hassle because I wanted to paint them separately but the orcs, the orcs' arms have to be attached if they're holding the handlebar, handlebars separately. So you'll notice on this one, for example, it's not quite joining together. But hey, it's orcs. I find you can have a lot of fun with the kits. So um, each model I've, uh, I, I've put together and, and painted following the same sort of scheme as I used for my war boss. Um, the, I found the, ag the uh, Athonian camo shade on the orc skin actually dried glass which was hugely frustrating um, so I've got a little bit to shine but I did go over it with a lamy and medium to dull it down um, so there's sort of all stage by stage done it took me a, a good few hours to do these but um, like for the goggles I've gone for a grey with a with a touch of white for the highlights I, I wanted to make them look quite ramshackle but not a kind of overdoing the red so you'll notice the orcs themselves have got very little red on them probably only like bits and pieces whereas the bikes are the ones that are the red bits so I wanted to kind of break up that red scheme uh, a little bit and I think it's come out okay um, these are all quite light green uh, highlighted with I think it was Elysian green um, to give them that kind of yellowy green finish. I actually started with Nurgling and found it was a very cold uh, paint uh, colour. Um, I think I've been taking some lessons from Voodoo Orc, so um, he's, he's desperate for me to learn about colours and how they complement each other. So hopefully, thank you Voodoo, th this, is, this is for you. Um, you know, the, 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 ye the yellowy green kind of suited it a lot more and I was able to, to put in a little bit of a warmer tone. So... I think they've come out all right. Uh, I'm quite pleased with them. He's not quite sat flat in the in the bike seat, but never mind. Um, as I've said before, uh, I've gone for. I'm a big believer in the skin tone. So the boys, the youngest of the orcs, are the lighter green. The knobs are darker, and then the war boss is the darkest. Kind of, you know, the the bigger they get, the darker they get. So the the orc knob is actually quite a bit paler. Sorry, quite a bit darker than the orc boy skin. Um, again, I haven't actually stuck these down, guys, because they, they fitted all right. They're a little bit loose, he is, certainly, but he seems all right. So, uh, the plan is, um, these are my old bikes. I've got another unit of six to do for my 500 points. It's going to be three stages to the campaign, uh, 500, 1,000, and 1,500. Uh, we've got, who have we got? We've got our, we've got a couple of guys from the Crusading. We've got a guy who's using Alpha Legion. Uh, who's now using Blood Angels for this. We've got the guy who plays Magnus. He's going to be using White Scars. Uh, we've got a guy, Pat, who, if you watch Templar Crusades uh, videos, playing White Scars. He's doing um, Orcs for this. We've got the Blood Angel, Luke. Uh, he's going to be doing uh, Imperial Guard. Uh, who else we've got? We've got quite a few people, guys, so keep your eyes peeled. Illamix is in there as well. Um, he's going to be doing some Orcs with me. And uh, Shadow Angel 88 is going to be the Gazgul. So um, check it out. I've done some rules for it. So there's going to be Orchimedes and stuff. I'm going to do some videos uh, a little bit closer to the time with people's armies. Uh, and the campaign itself is going to start in November. So keep your eyes peeled. We'll do some videos for them. More Orcs to come soon. I've uh, got a truck to do. got lots, of lots and lots of Orcs to do. Really enjoying them doing them so far. Get this 1500 and then get into uh, Apocalypse sort of stuff. But again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any comments on my orcs, any kind of feedback, you know, preferably productive, uh, something that I can help uh, construct or paint my orcs to a better standard um, would be great. I've just noticed I've missed a bit on these, so I'm going to do them uh, and get that done now. And uh, yeah, I will speak to you again soon.
Cheers for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.